Nigerians have been asked not to give up on the country as all the negative news about the country and the current situation will soon change for good. Christian leaders in Ogun State made this known during a special program organized to celebrate the 62nd independence anniversary of Nigeria. Kazim Olowe reports. That was the mood as Christians in Ogun State converged on the Fitri Life Bible Church in Abeokuta to celebrate the country's 62nd independence anniversary. They say despite the current situation in Nigeria, they still have a lot of reasons to celebrate. The general overseer of the church and other Christian leaders appealed to Christians to desist from saying negative things about the country. And the Lord has asked me to declare unto you and unto Nigeria that from today, no day will be wasted in this nation. They say Nigeria is a great nation with a lot of opportunities and that things will soon be better in the country. But I this one. When there was a famine in Egypt, everywhere, Jacob had enough money to buy. It will never get worse with you. Don't give up on Nigeria. It's a new day. This next one year, of Nigeria carries a pregnancy that will shock the world. Nigeria is about to give birth to a new Nigeria. If you look at the world globally, Nigerians are doing exploit across the world in medicine, name it, everywhere. It's time to come back and duplicate it. While emphasizing that there is no country like Nigeria, the Christian leaders urge citizens to play active role in the 2023 general elections and avoid being induced with money. Let every one of us go and do what is right. Let us go out and go and vote our mind, not what we are forced or compelled to do. Let's vote right. Let them not use money to buy you. Nigerians should know that whatever B, that has to be about Nigeria is for our common good. Don't sell your vote. Go to the polling unit, cast your vote for your candidates, and protect your vote. They also want citizens to play their roles positively in the development of the nation and shun corruption and greed. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Abe Okuta.